Hello, good morning, happy weekend. Okay, I am in the right space. Sometimes I'm not sure where I'm at, you know, like you hit too fast. Anyways, I wanna talk about several things today, but it all comes back to the center idea of getting in the middle of the bed. Getting in the middle of the bed, getting in the middle of a group of people who are also on a similar journey. Doesn't matter what everyone's personal goals are. It just means you are getting in the middle of the bed. So. I know from personal experience and from having talked to a whole lot of you over the years, it's really easy to keep this on the DL, right? You don't want to like talk about it because what if you fail or what if you, you don't see progress or what if people judge you or what if the peanut gallery has an opinion? And I understand all that. So I'm not telling you you need to blast this on social media, but I'm telling you, I'm offering this space, this community, the BOD group, all these, the Zoom calls, all this stuff is an extra way for you to get in the middle of the bed, to say what your actual freaking goal is, whatever that is for you. It could be to feel harder to kill. It could be for you to feel strong. It could for, be for you to feel good in your skin, for you to keep up with your kids, to be a grandma that's actually engaged and able to do things other than sitting on the couch and dictating orders, right? Whatever your personal goal is in this season of life, it matters. And if you have a nudge, if you're feeling like you're not in alignment with who you want to be, then it's time to do something different. And it's also time for you to get in the middle of the bed. So this morning I got on Zoom. This would be getting in the middle of the bed, right? Utilizing the accountability tools we have. And we were talking, the few of us that were on were talking about what this has done for us, okay? And I've been thinking about this a lot. Like what problem has this community, these workouts, what does it solve for me? And for me, it comes down to the umbrella of consistency, right? Consistency is the big word that it's helped me get consistent. It's helped me stop quitting. It's helped me believe in myself. It's helped me actually see results. It's helped me stop overthinking all the things because there's a million and 50 options out there. There really are. And not everything is going to work for everyone, but I believe that we have really, really epic and amazing tools. And I also believe that the community we have here is a game changer. If you give it a try, if you get in the middle of the bed, if you are willing to get outside of yourself and do the somewhat uncomfortable thing, whatever that means for you, I wanna meet you where you're at. So where are you at? Are you struggling with your belief? Are you struggling with the plan? Are you struggling with consistency? Are you feeling overwhelmed? Do you feel like maybe you've start stopped too many times? Wherever you're at, it's never too late to begin again. It's never too late or you're not too far gone to like realign and make a new plan for your life. I was thinking about that yesterday. Like I decided, I decided yesterday on a Friday that I was gonna do a few things differently and I could have had a bunch of stories. You could have a bunch of stories about starting over, or you could just decide that it's a fresh start and that it's a line in the sand and that you can do things differently. You are allowed to change your mind. You are allowed to try something new. You are allowed to do the thing that maybe you thought you were never capable of. Leaning into this pocket, this tribe, doing these workouts, it helped me break up with so many limiting beliefs. And some of them I'm still a work in progress in. So if you have a story, I can't work out in my living room. I'm not consistent. I don't know where to begin. Number one, it's just a story. It doesn't have to be your truth. You are allowed to reinvent and recreate that at any point in your journey. And number two, I want you to win. I want you to win. I want to see you rock your freaking life and feel super amazing in your skin. So let's do it, okay? So a couple things that we're rolling out. I have been brainstorming. Those of you who are alive in here and you're engaging with me behind the scenes and stuff, I've been thinking about you and who I can pair you up with because I think sometimes a group this size could be intimidating, especially if you're just getting started or maybe you've had this like kind of rocky history and we can get in our own ways. So who could I success partner you with? Who could we link you up with via text message or messenger or whatever, where you have someone outside of me and outside of this group to touch base with once a day. And some of you already do this with me. Some of you do it whether I reply or not. God bless you. I love that about you. Some of you are worried that you're taking up too much of my time. If you need accountability, you are welcome to hit my text message box any time of the day. I turn off my phone at night, so you're not gonna wake me up if you need to just send an accountability photo or a, I did this. I want to hear how you win. And I want you to start cataloging how you win as well. It's not just about you being accountable to me. It's, it's, it's figuring out how you can be accountable to yourself how you can collect those wins and shift your mantra, shift all the words you've been telling yourself and become a next level version of you. So yesterday I had a couple one-on-ones and I made 
we talked and I did more listening than talking, which is really hard for me sometimes, but I want to know you and I want to know what your secrets, your secret sauce is and what's going to excite you and what, what will work for you. I want to make a plan specific to you, not a cookie cutter thing. And I sent out a little plan of action and I got really great feedback around it. And so I'm excited to see how it helps those women like next level their journeys and get the momentum that they deserve to have. You deserve to have momentum. You deserve to feel good in your skin. Yeah, it's not just about a number or size, but it is 100% about the way you feel about yourself. And the way you feel about yourself is so linked to, I believe, building your belief with consistency, with taking the action, with saying you're gonna do something and then actually following through with that promise. And for a long time, that was my struggle. That's one of the things that this has solved. My chronic quitting, my need for perfectionism, my mean girl self-talk, my start stopping, right? My yo-yoing, all these things were resolved by me deciding I was gonna get outside of myself and I was gonna be accountable to someone else and I was gonna freaking show up. And those of you who have actually gotten really great results, I hear a similar story. You decided that you were gonna put yourself in the middle of the bed. You were no longer gonna be this lone duck doing your own thing, trying to honey badger it. Instead, you were like, I need accountability. I need support. And to be so honest with you, for a lot of us to get on that, that Monday through Saturday Zoom, we show up not necessarily on the days we want to, but because what if there's someone else that needs me? This is what changed my journey. A lot of things changed my journey. But when I, I couldn't do it for me. And some of you are not in a place where you can do it for you. But if you start to think of someone else, there's an accountability buddy, or there's someone else that needs me to show up to keep them accountable, I believe that's a massive game changer. So get in the middle of the bed. Some of our coaches, I've linked you up in um, private messages together, and I want you to use them. It's not a place for me to come talk at you. It's a place for you to find someone in a similar place on your journey so that you can hold each other accountable and you can brainstorm and you can throw each other a hype girl parade. That's what this is all about. It's about being proud of where you are and the, de the decisions and the wins that you rack up today. It's not about the end goal. The end goal is going to happen if you keep doing the thing and showing up and trusting the process, it's gonna happen. But I think for a lot of us, getting out of our own way, getting in the middle of the bed is gonna be the thing that changes everything. So I've been talking about this a lot. I wanna do an evening Zoom, but I don't need it. If you need it, I need you to tell me time zone and time of day and time zone, okay? And I'm happy to put that together. This Zoom link is open 24 seven. I mean, I'm on it sometimes doing one-on-ones and calls and stuff, but you're welcome to use it. You're welcome to pop in this group and say, I need to get a workout in. Does anyone else need a buddy? Because I'm telling you, there's something really weird about knowing there's someone else on the screen. It keeps me honest. Keeps me. I've been doing this for eight years and it keeps me honest and engaged when I don't really feel like it. Because there's a lot of days I don't really feel like it. That's just the truth. I'm always glad I did. But sometimes getting the ball started is really tricky. Okay. Okay, so get in the middle of the bed. If you want that, if you want me to link you up with an, a success partner, accountability partner, whatever you wanna call it, let me know. If you need to schedule a one-on-one, -on -one, I would love to. We're not gonna be on the phone for 500 hours because we're all busy, right? But 10, 15, 20 minutes, let's make a plan that serves where you are at, that's in alignment with your goals and your mindset and what you need. And then let's get you freaking traction, yo. Okay? It's not as hard as a lot of us think. If you were intimidated by this, I understand. I was you once upon a time, but I am proof of the product. I am telling you that this has the capacity to change your entire, entire freaking life. Not just the scale, not just the pants, not just the way you feel in your body, but like this boomerangs dominoes into literally every aspect of your life. If you're willing to make and keep a promise to yourself and do the daily work, and show up even when you don't feel like it, that consistency muscle, it leads to belief, which leads to momentum, which leads to a whole bunch of really epic things. Okay, okay, thanks for coming to my TED Talk. So I'm also doing To Be Mindset, and I've been talking about this with a lot of you. Um, for a long time, I was a total lover of the container system. I still think it's amazing, and it really has worked well for me in the past when I do it. But I'm in this kind of funny season and I feel as though a lot of you are as well. So if that feels, the containers feels overwhelming, this is your next stop, okay? This is the To Be Mindset Tracker. If you've ordered a recent challenge pack, you probably got this journal. If you if you don't have this, well, guess what? You can go print one, cool beans, if you have Beachbody On Demand under program materials on the To Be, to be tab. 
And I've been talking with a lot of you and encouraging you just to begin where you're at, okay? This is about logging your food. This is about understanding what your plate needs to look like so that you're not like super consumed with portion size and calorie counts and all that, but just making sure that you're fueling the machine that is your body with things that A, taste good, okay? There's no like off limits food, it's not a diet. It's about fueling your body so that you actually feel good and get results. It's very simple and I've tried to make it very complicated <laughs> in my own brain because that's how I work, but it's very simple, okay? So this is your nudge. Monday, we're starting fresh. It is a brand new day one. I don't care if you're in the middle of a program, you don't go back to day one. I am gonna be starting week seven of 645, but it's an opportunity to realign and to recommit and to focus on the stuff that you want to do, that you keep saying you want but maybe it feels hard. It doesn't need to keep feeling hard. You need to get yourself in the middle of the bed. You need to connect with me so we can make you a plan if you're feeling a little off kilter, or maybe you just write yourself a quick note, a love note, like I believe in you and I'm proud of you. And it feels good to keep a promise to myself. And maybe you look at that every single day. So here's my breakfast. I made a big scramble this morning for myself and Connor. I had leftover potatoes from a few nights ago. I had some chicken sausage in the freezer. I had a bunch of spinach and zucchini and some tomato. And I sauteed that a lot, made it a party with um, a couple scrambled eggs. And then I threw some feta and some hot sauce on top. And it's freaking delicious. It is delicious. I don't feel deprived. I've gotten my potatoes. I've gotten my veggies. I'm drinking my water. It's very simple. To be mindset is water first, veggies most, hashtag duh. <laughs> okay, so if you, I'm gonna drop in the comment uh, a couple screenshots that I've sent a few of you that are just getting started with this because there is a lot of content, which is great, but if you are like me and a collector of information and you feel like you've gotta understand everything before you can begin, we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna start where we are. We're gonna consume a little bit of information every day or every other day, whatever works for you and feels manageable. And then you're going to allow that to compound and you're going to navigate the journey a little bit more cleanly, okay? You don't have to have all the information. You don't have to be an expert. None of us are ever experts. We're always works in progress. I'm always learning. I'm always realigning. I'm curious about my journey. And I'm not saying that the, I don't have judgment and shame in some areas of my life. I still do, but I'm a work in progress and I'm not going to hide from it. Okay. I'm just going to do the next right thing, which for me is getting in the middle of the bed. It's plugging in here. It's sharing my accountability. It's continuing to work on my mindset and being okay with the fact that if I'm doing something like the containers or like another workout program that maybe wasn't serving me, I can say, I don't need to do this right now. Doesn't mean I'm a failure. Don't have to create a story. Don't have to come up with some synopsis or write a journal entry. I can simply say, this does not serve me right now. And I'm going to put it back on the shelf and I'm going to try something different. So try something different. On Monday, it's a perfect time for you to pick up a new program. A lot of the ladies are going to be starting four weeks for everybody. That is a no impact, really awesome program. If you have to march in place, that's cool. If you only get five minutes of a workout in, I want you to count that as a victory and I want you to move on to the next day on the calendar, the next day you work out. There is no reason to go back to a day one. There is no reason for you to keep start stopping. There is no reason for you to invent stories around why this is too hard. This is your journey. This is your life. It is not too hard for you to show up. If you are a legitimately in a season of there's too much on your plate, guess what, sis? You can still show up and be intentional and collect your wins. It's not about getting up earlier. It's not about staying up later, cutting out more joy. It's about prioritizing the time you actually do have and then looking at your life through a prism of I'm a winner and this is how I intentionally showed up. It's about getting in the bed, posting your accountability, leaning into the people who are offering accountability and just doing the next right thing. Okay? Okay. So... I don't know if you haven't noticed, but I will never, ever, ever quit on you, ever. I won't ever quit on you. I believe in you. I believe in you. So I'm never, ever, ever, ever gonna quit on you. You are never inconveniencing me or being obnoxious. I want you to use this group. I want you to use the Zooms. I want you to get in the middle of the bed. I want you to start to believe in yourself and prioritize your promise, okay? Doesn't matter how long it takes. It's gonna take however long it takes. All that matters is that you're intentional, you do your best, you surrender the rest, some is better than none, and done is always better than perfect. Uh-huh, 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 totally. So do the next right thing today. 
Get in the middle of the bed. I want you to think about that. If you've been resisting utilizing your body, your beach body workouts, if you're resisting the nutrition, if you're trying to reinvent it, if you're trying to make it yours, quit that shit. Knock it off right now. Okay. You have epic and amazing life changing tools at your disposal that you can make work for you. If you're not seeing results, then we need to have a combo and figure out what area is a little off kilter and then tweak it. It's not about all or nothing. It's not about scrapping everything and starting fresh. It's just about being in alignment with what will work for you and then collecting your wins. Yeah, totally. Okay. I'm going to eat this and I'm gonna log it in my journal. I'm gonna drink more water today. I'm gonna to work on my mindset today. I'm gonna to catch up on some messages. I'm gonna go outside, touch a tree if I can find one, and life goes on, right? But if you're not feeling good and you're not feeling proud, you need to get out of your own head and you need to get in the middle of the bed. Get on the Zoom, plug into the accountability spaces we have, hit my inbox, Put your hand up, even if it's scary, because I get that would be scary. If I was you and I was in this group and my coach was like, I want to pair you up with someone or I want you to be loud and proud about it, I would overthink that. I would come up with objections around, oh, I don't know, she's not really talking to me. I don't know if I matter enough. Yes, this is who I was once upon a time and I'm still working through that version of me, but you do matter and you are, you do fit here and you are worthy of a transformation, whatever that means for you. So it's time for you to start rooting for yourself. It's time for you to actually borrow my belief. If you don't have your own, you're going to borrow mine and you're going to trust the process. You're going to trust the process because I'm telling you as someone who's been here for a really long time, it works. It's not magic. It takes time. It takes energy. It takes effort on days we don't necessarily want to, but I've never, ever, 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 ever regretted showing up for myself. Never. I've always, always, even on the days I don't want to, and I force myself to, I'm so grateful. So that means it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be huge. It can be a tiny effort, but I want you to reframe your effort, okay, from it wasn't quite enough, or it's not good enough, or it should be bigger, or it could have been better, or I only got this many minutes in. Stop, okay? You're not on trial. We are throwing you a parade. We are building your belief. We are creating momentum and consistency and that requires you to spin the crap out of this. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay. Okay. All right. I believe in you. If you need anything, let me know. I am going to be catching up in Messenger because I know I wasn't in there yesterday, but I'm coming for you. So if you need anything, let me know. I am so serious about that. If you want to be linked up with a bunny and you know, some of them might not be, you know, might not be a love match and that's okay. I'm not asking you to go to Cancun together. I'm just asking you to, to allow me to trust me to pair you with someone or if you see someone in this group that you really vibe with, to reach out to them and be like, hey, do you want to be text accountability buddies? Because when you're accountable to someone outside of yourself, I know that it's so much easier to show up and do the thing. Do you see Gus right here? Say hi, Gus. Gus believes in you too.